so I'm here on the trail of the milky oats and looks like I found um, quite a stand up here milky oats pretty much as, as far as you can see here in the creek bottom and uh, a lot of people tell me well what what is it that makes it what is a milky oat what why do you call them milky so here right on my fingers there you can see that milky sap and that is the uh the milky oats that's that's what we're looking for when you're and it's a sweet taste mm, very smooth and it's a very relaxing medicinal restorative herb um, this is a novena species it's a uh, naturalized here in the creeks uh, along the little deer house at the right there I picked another one you can see see the milk in there um, this is our milky oats and these oats are perfectly ripe right at this moment as I'm picking them at the equinox during the full moon or well, these things taste so good I'm just chewing on them right now the wild milky oats so I'm out here in the creek bottom off of the little deer right. house these are our milky oats right here. Um, these are at the peak of flavor and the peak of their milkiness. Just, you don't want them brown. And if they're too green, they haven't developed the milkiness yet. So you just got to keep coming back again and again and again. Get it. So they're just at that milkiness. Here you can see. Uh, there it is right there. And that's really what you're looking for. You want that that height of the milkiness. You want it just bursting with that milky, adrenal restoring flavor. And uh, up here, like I said, off of the deer house, off of our little tributaries coming out down the mountains, we got this uh, nice medicine stand of our milky oats. And uh, you gotta really watch these. I've been coming back here pretty much uh, every couple days. I said the time is now, it's full moon, it's the equinox. My adrenals need them. Let's go out there and get our milky oats. You can see we we have acres and acres of uh, milky oats. The only problem is they're only ready for a little bit of time and then they go dry. And this has been a tough year because uh, even though we had a wet, wet early spring, it's dried quick. Temperatures here in the 90s. We expect to get some wind tonight. You kind of get that feeling like we might get some blowing. I give thanks to the great spirit to uh, to who put all this medicine here for us. I say thank you. Thank you in our, from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to find these oats. As I said, this is a very good mix with the anemone. And probably mix up a little batch of uh, lobelia that I have from last year uh, for, for a lady that wanted to uh, quit smoking. So I want to kind of get something that can help her relax help and this is something that'll help do that I'm gonna mix up probably a, a batch of oats and uh, milky oats with a with my uh, pulsatilla and probably some just regular milky oats straight and uh, probably get her something to help with the flow help with relaxation um, see what we got see what we can put in there maybe something for her liver maybe some yellow dock uh, Rumix Crispus, uh, and uh, in the back here you can see this uh, nice little creek flowing, and it's got some water in there, and that's that's really what you're wanting for these milky oats. You want to have some standing water, some flowing water, and uh, in the absence of rain, this is certainly what we were looking for. The peak of flavor, got our milkiness going. I'm gonna bag these up here pretty quick get as much as i can while i can uh, tincture them probably tonight using the blender method and then uh, see what else is coming up here up at the lower deer house milky oats it's been a good year for the milky oats up this way uh, i went to a couple other places and uh, they weren't quite as milky they were kind of dry and punky in there so I was felt, felt pretty fortunate to be able to, to harvest these milky oats here at the deer house. Get, get rid of some of that husk, but uh, they're doing really well out here and there's a lot of them. So uh, seems like an ideal time to get them. And 
This is the uh, full moon tonight, March full moon. I guess we can call it the milky oat harvest uh, moon. We have the equinox, the uh, really the time when the days and the nights are even, you know, they're, they're kind of mixed or uh, balanced in a sense. So uh, we'll be uh, just uh, waiting, you know, waiting for what changes are gonna come here. Of course, down here in the de desert, we'll see some warm, warm temperatures happening. And uh, we're already seeing that. We've had temperatures in the 90s. Hopefully we can get some rain in here, but uh, who can tell, you know? Who can predict what's going to happen? I know one thing, I'm giving thanks for these milky oats uh, growing in this swampy area because Without this wet, moist, swampy area, you really wouldn't, wouldn't have the milky oats. Uh, it's been too dry. I went to another area and I was a little bit surprised. I saw a lot of the oats, but they were I'm not sure what happened. They kind of didn't, didn't set very well. They were, like I said, they were dry. It might have been too early, been too late, but I guess you just got to get out there every day. Being in the right place at the right time, doing the right thing in the right way, you know. So just be patient, you know, you'll find them. You'll find your milky oats. Uh, I use a method that uh, Seven Song, one of those uh, herbalists that was out there in uh, New York, Ithaca, Ithaca, New York. I guess he has his uh, Ithaca school out there. Uh, I had a chance to meet Seven Song this summer at the uh, gathering at Cloudcroft, New Mexico. He talked a little bit uh, here and there, and I read about his his method of using a blender. And I, you know, I think it's a good good way good way to do it. You know, you you clean them a little bit, get some of that husk off, put the, put the milky seeds in there, and then blend it with a little alcohol. It's a good way to go, I think. And uh, you know, I think it's I think it kind of speeds things up. Also uh, increases, I think, the absorption, opens up the uh, opens up that seed to get that milk out, you know. So I'm gonna continue harvesting the milky oats out here in the deer house. Looking forward to meeting up with Michael, uh, Michael this weekend, and uh, seeing what he's got to say. He's always got, always got a lot to say, that man. Uh, very lucky, very grateful. Whenever I come out here, I always think of Michael and John and all the herbal teachers that happen to share, share different things with me. And I wouldn't be able to do this if they hadn't been willing to, to talk to me, to share. And I'm very grateful to all of you herbal teachers out there who share your knowledge, share your wisdom. And I'm going to continue on this medicine road. Uh, 